Our camera club assignment today is to photograph people at work. Now we're in London's Exmouth Market area and we're going to be dropping by unannounced just as you would if you were out photographing, see whether we can make an environmental portrait of them in their place of work. Now this could be a cafe, a shop, a workshop, whatever. We don't know, we're just going to see what we can do. Some people will knock us back, some people will ask us in. We've yet to find out. Let's go and do it. Hello mate. We're making a little film. It'll so. literally take a second. You're busy all the time, isn't it, mate? The man says no, so I'm afraid that's it. Sorry about it, mate. That's all right. We move on. It's up to you to overcome natural inhibitions. You've got to be able to be comfortable and confident. Can I explain myself? Yeah. Right, basically. Come in a little bit for me. People detect nervousness. They might just turn the situation into a negative one. If they detect warmth and empathy and confidence, then they will probably go with it. <laughs> so the first thing that you have to decide as a photographer when you're doing this kind of photography on the street is are you going to work in a way that interacts with the subjects or are you going to record the subjects in a very objective way? Now this kind of splits photographers down the line. Some instinctively go towards the uh, pure photojournalism, if you like, of being an invisible observer. And others, and I'm definitely in this latter group, want to interact with the consent of the subject and also to, I guess, inevitably, direct the subject. Come this way for me. A little bit more. I'm very fussy. Fantastic. The thing about news agents is that they are such a familiar setting to do a picture in. And the challenge, in a way, is to try and get something of the character of the man or woman running it, working there, and something of the character of the shop. Just lean into me a little bit. That's it. You've got what we call a fantastic face. Yeah, look right to the lens for me. Lean in a bit, lean in a bit. That's it. As soon as I'd finished photographing uh, this man with his sausage stall, I realized I wasn't happy with the pictures at all. And the light was very dark. He was moving around a lot. He was extremely kind. He gave us a, a lovely sausage wrapped in flatbread. And uh, as we were sitting down eating, I saw this Sardinian flag on the back of his stall and he's Sardinian. So I thought, aye, aye, this is going to be a better, a better image. So that's where I photographed him. You're always keeping your eyes open. What I value above all is just being able to, without even breaking the flow of conversation, take a photo and it's going to be right. Yep, there's Andy, looking handsome. So this little uh, Nikon D5000 is ideal because it's got a standard type zoom lens, it's set on P for program, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm just using it and have used it today as a point and shoot camera.